Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share this look with you guys. It's one of my first of many Halloween looks for this year. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm gonna first start off by using the Makeup Forever Flash Palette to paint my whole face and body pink. I will say this flash palette does stain your skin and I don't think you're supposed to actually put it all over your face and body so use it at your own risk if you do have the same palette I did it eventually all came off but like it took like maybe two showers for all of it to actually get off <laughs> and I actually ended up doing two layers to make it super duper opaque now I'm going to take the wet n wild paint palette in their pastel shades and use the light pink to kind of highlight all of the places on my face that I want to kind of bring forward. So underneath my eyes, my cheekbones, my nose, my chin, and like right above my lip. And then just using that first brush to kind of blend everything out. Also, sorry guys, I'm a little sick, so that's why I sound like this. Anyway, also just popping some of that highlight color on my collarbone and also on my like neck. Then I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier setting powder and really, really, really heavily set everywhere that I put the pink, otherwise, it could come off and it could like kind of also come off when you're blending so you want to make sure everything is super set you do not want it to be able to move then i'm going to take the anastasia beverly hills norvina collection palette this is the first sorry the first volume in this collection and i'm going to take that pink shade and start to contour with that shade and just being really careful not to press too hard you don't want to like break through the pink that we laid down before and just going underneath my cheekbones, on my forehead, underneath my chin, on my nose, anywhere that there, there like would naturally be a shadow. Now I'm taking Benefit's Browsings in the shade number three and using that to fill in my brows. And this is kind of like a neutral shade to begin with. And then I'm gonna go over the top of that with the pink shade that we use to contour to kind of make my brows like a little more pink. Then also going to take that same exact pink shade and start to kind of like create depth in my eyes and use it like as an eyeshadow. And then also going underneath my eyes to round everything out with that same exact shade. Then I'm gonna take this more like corally pinky color and use that in my crease and outer corner just like the last shade. Now I'm mixing the black shade in the palette with that first pink shade to really darken up my crease and outer corner to add a lot of dimension and depth to this eye look and also of course going underneath my eye as well. Then mixing those two on a bigger brush to add dimension to my face. So that pink and that black shade, you want to be really careful with black because it can like kind of get crazy. So make sure that you really like add in the pink so that it blends really well on your face and it doesn't just like stick to parts and then you have like a black patch on your face and it looks really bad. This really helps to add a lot of dimension and make it look deeper and just like a more well-rounded look. Then taking these two kind of like shimmer shades and popping those on my lid. Then taking this Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencil and lining my waterline and then going in with the Ico Black Magic Liquid Liner to give myself a wing. And then taking the Luna by Luna highlight in Electra and popping that on my cheekbones to make it look extra special and like alien-esque and just like overall really beautiful, giving us that glow. popping some on my brow bone too I love the way that looks and some on my nose now I'm taking benefits bad gal bang mascara and I'm just gonna apply that to my lashes then taking Huda Beauty's bachelorette lipstick and then I'm gonna go over the top of that with masquerade to kind of like darken things up just a little bit and then taking my Huda Beauty Mink Lashes, popping those on. These are so freaking pretty. 
And then, like I said, going over the top of that lipstick with Masquerade, which is also from Huda Beauty, just to like kind of darken things up a little bit, add a little bit of dimension. How many times have I said dimension in this video? I don't know, you count. <laughs> Then just taking a little bit of that pastel pink and popping it in the center of my lip and then putting in my superhero contacts from camo eyes these are like so pretty i love these contacts i feel like they could go with so many different looks and that is it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you so much thank you for watching if you did like it please give it a big thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel below if you want to see more videos like this i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video